Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jen Gianni, and today we're going to talk about creating more articulation and movement in your collarbones. We don't really think about the collarbones moving, but just like the ribs with the breath, we want the, the collarbone to be able to come out of its neutral position and back into its neutral position. And it does that on a roll. And on biomechanically, on the inhale, the um, collarbone will lift and roll back. And on the exhale, it will roll back down, sort of like a log on a river. But for a lot of us, we might have some movement in one collarbone, but the other collarbone is stuck. So it's really good to kind of suss this out and um, do a little bit of a diagnostic on yourself first. Sometimes it's hard to tell because it's such a small movement, but you wanna listen with your fingers. So that means you have a light touch on your collarbone. And you wanna take a few deep inhales and exhales. And you wanna to try to figure out which of the collarbones you're feeling more movement in. You can also inhale, turn your head. As you turn your head, that side collarbone should roll up and then exhale, come back to center. Inhale, turn your head and exhale, come back to center. And for most of us, we're gonna feel a marked difference on how much movement we have in the collarbone. So that's your diagnostic. And then once you do that, then you can do some release around the area. So you can take your little uh, mini tennis ball and you wanna use light pressure here because there's not much tissue in this area. So you're gonna go right under the collarbone and you're just gonna do a little roll underneath the collarbone on each side. So you could just do four or five rolls underneath the collarbone. If you hit a tender spot, right, you can hold that pinpoint of pressure and breathe and just try to soften around that ball, right? And of course you do both sides. And then after you do that, you wanna check again. So you're listening with the fingers, inhaling, and exhale and release. And again, turning the head on the inhale, you wanna feel that lift or roll of the collarbone and back to center. Inhale, so that same side collarbone as you turn the head should lift and roll and back to center. So again, just like the conversation about our T1, T2 vertebrae and our first and second rib and our manubrium, the collarbone is joined with that group. So to, to have optimal breathing, all of these players must dance their dance together. <laughs> and the collarbone um, should be able on the inhale to roll up and back, and on the exhale to roll down and forward. And again, it's very, very small. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.